Hi loves, Christina Ross here of love-fed.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite green juice recipe. I love to start my day with this recipe, so now you can get yours started with it too. So we're going to start with about three pounds of fresh baby spinach leaves and a little bit of mint. And by a little bit of mint, it's probably about one cup's worth. I've also chopped up about three different um, stalks of celery and about two whole cucumbers. And I make them bite-sized pieces to put into the little chute. And then what else do we have in here? Oh yes, we have our big nugget of ginger. And just for scale, just so you can see, this knife blade here, which this one says it's a seven inch. So that's probably about, I don't know, what's that? About two inches worth of ginger right there. And the same for our turmeric. So the difference here, if sometimes you're in the grocery store and you can't tell, turmeric has a little bit more of an orange color and you crack it open, it looks a little bit like a carrot, that's turmeric. And you want to add in the ginger and the turmeric because that is just all the good anti-inflammatory, the great immunity boosting ingredients that are going to help make this green juice a little spicier. Okay, and speaking of spice, I added in one seeded jalapeno because I'm always looking to incorporate a little extra spice and nutrition into my juices. So I'm just gonna turn this beautiful machine on, it's not too loud, and get started. So first thing I like to do is add in some cucumber and celery. That helps get the motor going, all nice and lubricated. You may also even notice here actually that I have this strainer over my pitcher and that's so I don't have to have a clumpy juice. Although the pulp will come out in here, there's still a little bit of slushiness to the drink if I don't use this strainer. So this is my secret tip on getting a smooth and even green juice, which we all love, right? Unless you like those sludge mustaches. I don't really care for them. Okay, let's juice. Once you have all of your juice into your container, you're going to just use a spoon to just release any excess moisture and juice out of the pulp. And then you'll set the pulp aside, grab your mason jar or some type of drinking vessel, and a funnel. You could even find a funnel at an automotive store if you can't find one at a culinary store. Might be even cheaper if you get it in the automotive store too. Okay, so then you're just gonna pour your juice straight into the jar. Now, if you have really good precision and aim, you don't even need to use the funnel, but I like it. It, it keeps my kitchen a little bit cleaner, which I appreciate. Ooh, wow. Look at that, frothy goodness. Okay, so one more disclaimer for you all. If this juice is a little too pungent because of all the spice in here and if you're going to serve it to a child maybe add in some fresh pineapple or some fresh green apples cheers you guys to our health make sure to get your greens in and happy juicing <laughs> all right you guys for more delicious nutritious energizing and vibrant recipes definitely join me on my blog i'm christina ross from www.love-fed.com See you in the next video. Bye-bye.